This video was made possible by my incredible patrons. Economy Week wouldn't have been able to continue without you. Hello and welcome to SFO Airport. I am here to shoot the second ever Economy Week, this time of Alaska Airlines, JetBlue, and Southwest. The first in order is JetBlue, but uh, I just hope I get away right now because I forgot my passport at home. I've taken about a hundred flights this year, and today I forgot my passport. I have a savior who's coming to help me. Hopefully he gets here in time, and I can't wait to zoom off toward Portland by Long Beach with JetBlue. Interestingly, JetBlue flies from the international terminal at SFO. When I got on board, I was surprised that the flight attendant wasn't especially nice and they weren't greeting anyone. But when I got to my seat, I was, as always, so impressed by the amount of legroom on JetBlue. It really reminds me of Economy Plus on the US legacy carriers. They also have individual air vents and reading lights, and although the cabin and seat is kind of old, the legroom makes up for it any day. Compared to Asian airlines, it's always kind of fun to compare the presentation of flight attendants in other countries. And although the crew in the end ended up being quite great on this flight, one of them literally came on the plane looking like she was asleep. Her hair was all over the place. As you can see, there is an entertainment system on board, even though that as well is quite old fashioned. They have live TV and you can browse through channels quite easily. And then they have a live map, which also isn't especially appealing, but it works. The thing I notice about JetBlue is that they're really good at getting the little touches right. For example, before my flight, I tweeted their Twitter team that I was surrounded by valley girls on this flight, which was true, and I got the most hilarious response. I'll try to insert it here. And I just love that they can be playful and quick and that they're allowed that space. Even though the flight was so short, we also got a full drink with two snacks. As always, they have free high-speed Wi-Fi, which is so impressive.
When I landed in Long Beach, I actually had to rush to my connection because my flight from San Francisco landed a little bit late. So I had a four minute connection. I really needed to go to the bathroom, so I ran into the terminal. And as you can see, there's this really cool outdoor walkway. So you get to see all the planes. You get to enjoy the Californian sunshine. And you know, I actually prefer this to walking in some gray tunnel. So the terminal at Long Beach was packed, and I'm not sure you'd want to spend that much time here. I freaked out even more when I heard my name being called on the terminal speakers, so I ran to my gate. And when I got there, the gate agents weren't mad, they didn't ask where I'd been, they just said, Hi Mr. Gauze, we've been expecting you, welcome on board. And it's those little touches that really differentiate JetBlue staff from other airport staff. On this flight, I had one of those great JetBlue crews again. The male flight attendant was smiling at everyone during the safety demonstration, which really, really sets them apart from other airlines. So here's a good look at the menu and onboard shopping sheet that JetBlue has. This is the same on all their flights and I don't think it changes that often. So what you see here is what the options will be on your flight. Okay, I may have a little bias toward this crew, but it's these little touches that make such a big difference. So, the flight attendant was coming around, I told her I want this amp up box, and she said, you're non-rev, right? And I said, no. And she hands me the box, winks at me, and says, you're good. They had no idea I was gonna be on board, they had no idea I was filming a review. And yet, I don't know why they gave it to me for free, but I'm just so happy about it, and it was a great, great snack kit. Then, as you can see, they also give you an entire can of whatever juices or drinks you want, plus several snacks throughout the flight. Again, the legroom and Wi-Fi were great. Having free Wi-Fi is just so, so valuable. And I can't believe more airlines don't do it. It really, really gives JetBlue some extra points in my book. So as we were approaching Portland, the captain jokingly said, well guys, we've got clear skies for you in Portland today. Just kidding, it's overcast as always. Again, it's these little touches that differentiate the flying experience and make it so fun with JetBlue.
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're back on. Mm-hmm. Do you, uh, do you want anything? Because I get that. Uh, <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. Take Princess? I think she is. Hi, Princess. You're a princess. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> yes, you are. Hey, thanks so much. <laughs> so, welcome to Portland, guys. I'm done with my JetBlue flights for today. And how were they? Uh, they were great. Uh, it started off a little rocky on my side and on their end, but it ended really nicely. Uh, with uh, some great service from JetBlue and while we still don't know which one of the three airlines is the best I strongly recommend them so it doesn't really matter if you have the option to fly JetBlue uh, I'm sure you'll have a great experience but there's more I have a little bonus footage from a flight to New York plus I want to talk about Patreon for a second I started my Patreon page to fund future economy weeks because these are so expensive to shoot, especially because I'm not really flying for any reason apart from reviewing. I'd really like to thank Chris, Craig, Martin, Frederick, Lila, Andre, and Paul for your generous contributions, and of course, all my other patrons. You exclusively helped fund this economy week, my upcoming economy week in January, and hopefully if any of you guys watching this can support in any way please head over to my patreon so that i can finally afford to do a long haul comparison between the us3 all the money for my patreon goes toward it and i really really appreciate it jetblue's a321 are in another league from their a320s they are super modern equipped with beautiful mood lighting and of course jetblue mint as you can see the seats are stunning the legroom is just as great as on the A320 and they have a better entertainment system on board. Just as on their A320s, they also have free Wi-Fi and even the ability to purchase even faster Wi-Fi for $9 an hour. This is amazing since it really boosts your productivity. On these transcontinental flights, JetBlue also has special meals, so I had a kale and bean salad which was delicious and quite reasonably priced for an airplane meal. They also have an amazing onboard snack bar where economy class passengers can grab drinks and snacks as much as they want. You can check that out in my review of JetBlue Mint. Once again, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for much more, and until I see you all next time, fly safe.